Everyone, please welcome Mikkel. I love one of the, the messages that came out of that tape piece, mm -hmm. which it's so apparent that you are happy. You're happy with your life. You're happy with yourself. But you also, you have admittedly had concerns. Yeah. And Mikkel came onto our show and said she's healthy, but she wanted to get set up and get an exam. And we set her up with diet and nutrition expert, Dr. Melina Jampolis in Los Angeles to get a full physical exam. Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Phyllis. It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. All righty, so what brings you in here today? Well, I'm actually known to have the biggest hips in the world, and I, I'm generally healthy. I feel healthy. I am active. I work out. I always wondered why it was that the, the weight would only be centered here. I think clearly there's a genetic component that might be a certain type of condition called lipedema, which to this extent is relatively rare. What my job is, is to first make sure that you're healthy. Right. We're just gonna make sure that everything is okay internally. So do you have any medical problems? I have high blood pressure and I do have arthritis in my knee. What I'm evaluating her for is to make sure that there's no medical cause of obesity and that there's no side effects of obesity like early diabetes or fatty liver or kidney problems. I think sounds good in the lungs too. Okay. I really think she's overall fairly healthy and making much better food choices than I expected. My biggest concerns with her are really related to the high blood pressure and the arthritis. If I can get her to drop a little bit of weight to get off those medications, then I think that will really bode well for her future health and so she can be there for her kids. Dr. Melina Jampolis joins us in the audience today. And, and Dr. Jampolis, you did a very thorough examination. I know you did blood work. What did you find? Well, the good news is, I mean, 70% of my patients who are overweight or obese have some sort of cardiometabolic abnormality, which means high cholesterol, prediabetes, fatty liver disease, and she had none of that. But she does have two diseases that are clearly related to excess weight. The blood pressure, which just started two years ago, so that tells me it's more weight than it is genetic because your weight's crept up a little bit with each child. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you do it with four, but right. that's all another. And then the arthritis and the knees. So for each pound of weight that she could lose, the knees would see four pounds less. So I think that's your biggest issue, really, right. because you're so active, and I know your knees really do bother you sometimes. Right. So that's right. why I feel like even if she just lost 10% of her weight, we could get her off maybe both of her blood pressure medications. And certainly, like hypothetically, if you lost 40 pounds, your knees would feel right. 160 pounds less. And to some extent, a lot of this, no matter what you do in terms of diet and activity, is not going to affect some of that, right, Dr. Exactly. Gordon? It's a genetic disorder, something you just inherited, mm -hmm. and lipedema, meaning it's two things. There's an abnormal distribution of fat. On top of that, there's edema, there's swelling that's forming in the lower extremities. Not all that uncommon. 11% of women have this to a certain degree, and, and really what it is is a disproportion of the amount of fat in the upper part of the body compared to the lower part of the body. For example, a woman can be an eight on the upper part of her body and a 16 on the lower part of the body. You know, many people would think she's going home and eating pizzas and gallons of ice cream, and that is not the case. Right. In fact, she's under eating during the day. So, you right. know, I, there's some really simpler tips that we can do to work towards that 10% goal. I really think that's where we need to be at in a win-win situation if we can just focus a little bit and uh, get those cheekbones popping out. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to talk with you in the next segment a little bit about the hip-to-waist ratio that you mentioned, Dr. Jampoulos, and I want to thank you for taking That's such pleasure. good care of Mikkel. That was yeah. fun. She's and, and I Mikkel, love her. we're also, <laughs> if you desire, we're going to send you to Dr. Katja Van Hurley. She's worked with a number of individuals with this similar condition, if okay. you would like that. Oh, yes, definitely. As I well. I want to know more about it. And mm -hmm. if you stick around, you know, Dr. Orden had a you know, question. You know, Mikkel, I understand that, that people come up to you and go, I mean, is, is that real? Very I mean, is so. that, are those your real unenhanced hips? Right. I mean, that goes on, doesn't it? Yes, 
Well, <laughs> would you like to answer that question for everybody once and for all? Why not? Let's well, do it. Why don't we do that in the next segment?